Evil Dead the game just released one of their first post-launch patches, which is called Patch 1.05. And the patch is pretty short, but it does fix some really important things that the community has been wondering about. So let's quickly go over it, and then I'm actually going to test some stuff to see what it actually feels like in-game, okay? So, right off the bat, stability and quality of life. We have implemented various fixes to combat cheats, like speed hacks, health regeneration, fake nicknames, and character model changing. And a larger anti-cheat update is also forthcoming in another update soon. Which is awesome because there have been some cheats going on where people are sprinting around with super, super speed. They have infinite items. They can spawn things that blow up all over the map. They, there are people that are insta-killing people at the beginning of the game. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on because people are downloading third-party programs and then they are using them within the game. So it's good that they're putting in some anti-cheat to try and combat that. The next one after this is address an exploit where players could cancel animations to perform actions faster than intended. So this is the whole animation canceling thing that we've been talking about in the past couple of videos here. I talked about it in an original video where I'm like, this is how you do it. This is what's in the game. And then I talked about it in a later video where I'm like, yes, we talked about how to do it, but I do think they should get rid of it. And then what's actually really interesting about that is on that video where I was like, hey, we should try to get rid of it because I think players are just frustrated with it. We actually, we actually got a response from the creative director of Saber Interactive. So pretty cool that what they said in this post here actually ended up being true. They said that they were gonna get an update within a couple of days after this comment, and then sure enough, here is the update. So pretty cool that we actually got a response. I know people might be wondering where it's like, well, how come they didn't just release a response in their official channels? And if I were to take a guess, it's that the community team tends to be a bit more tight-lipped on those types of things. Again, based off of my experience with other game devs, they tend to have their schedule and they release things when it's, when it's time. And then sometimes if you talk to a dev outside of that realm, they tend to be a little bit more open with what's going on in the game. So pretty cool that we got the update. Improved server stability and then various bug fixes and improvements, and that can mean anything. Then we have missions here. This is a single player mission fix. I never really experienced that one. This one's really important though. So demon, fix loss of input bug when a possessed unit dies. So if you've ever been playing demon and then suddenly you have no HUD and you can't do anything other than maybe place a fluke down or summon your boss, this should fix that. And then on the survivor side, we actually have some really interesting things. We have updated balancing to Cheryl's healing abilities. Now, let me show you what that looks like. If we go ahead and take a look at Cheryl here, it says healing touch. And if you take a look, it says healing per second, 60, duration, six, cooldown, 120 seconds. Now, before this update, instead, these numbers were 80 healing per second, a six second duration, and the cooldown was only 90 seconds. So this is a pretty sizable nerf for Cheryl. Big sad hours for Cheryl here. And then Cheryl's not the only one who was under the gun here. We also had Sash get hit. So Sash's alternative healing skill used to heal for 35 per heavy attack. Now it only heals for 25. This one's really interesting to me because I'm sure that they're looking at data and then seeing who they feel is outperforming or overperforming, right? But part of the data I would assume would have been skewed based off of people animation canceling, but maybe the amount of people animation canceling was really small because frankly, Whenever I dealt with people animation canceling, I didn't really feel like it was influencing the game that much. I always felt like it was pretty easy to counter, but I guess that's just my perspective on it. So I'm assuming that the majority of people weren't animation canceling, which means that the data that they were using was probably pretty sound. But either way, I, I think Sash is gonna be feeling much different after this update now because 10 off of 35 is no slouch. Going down the line here, we have adjusted values to Amanda's Weapon Master pistol skill. Now there was a bug with Amanda where her pistols we're not performing the way they were supposed to, mainly because there was a bug with this skill, so now Amanda should be fixed. Fixed causing a loss of input when the survivors are possessed by a demon, exit vehicles, or try to pick up full stacks of items. So this is a really nice thing because very often in the game, you would feel like you just couldn't move because something happened, you got stuck, and your whole game's ruined. This should hopefully fix that. And then another one here, fix an issue that causes a survivor to be immortal at death or when using a healing item in the storm. Interesting. Fix an issue where survivors could deal 1 million damage to demon and deadites. So yeah, there is specifically one that would show up a lot is with the puppeteer. If the puppeteer would split their elite unit, if you hit that split unit, you could do a million damage, which is how people thought people were exploiting and stuff like that. But really, it was just a bug where the 1 million damage thing would show up. And this is fixing that. And then miscellaneous fixing some PlayStation 4 trophies not synchronizing. So what I want to do now that we have this all sorted out here is I want to actually go into the game and see what's all fixed, especially on the animation front. Because what was really cool about the animation video that we published a little bit ago was I encouraged people to talk about what they felt about it. And there was a wide range of opinions. Some people thought it was great. It added more depth to the game. Some people thought it was terrible and it was ruining the game. And a lot of people in the middle. And what I 
came to really hear from a lot of the community was they felt that the aim canceling was too far and it was dumb and they also felt like the Eligos lightning canceling was too far. But on the other hand, they liked that you could dodge cancel because there was a stamina requirement behind it. One thing I'm really curious about is F canceling. I think something that's going to happen is people are going to chain into F finishers to kind of keep their immunity up while they're in a battle. So I want to test some of these things out real quick and see what's all changed, how it feels, and really just give you guys the information that I come up with here. So let's go into it. So let's go ahead and test the most common thing that was happening on the survivor side, which is when somebody would swing, they could then go ahead and aim, and then what that would do is allow them to increase their attack speed by a lot. And this would happen on all weapons. Hunting knife as the fastest and then slowest being things like the sledgehammer and the sword. So, pop up. Uh-oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. They did put something in. Kind of. Yeah, it's definitely a lot chunkier. Frankly, if you're trying to do this, you, I think this is actually pretty good implementation because it's definitely a lot chunkier than it was before. Because I can feel that you like you see how I pause right there Yeah, that pause right there. There's like a there's like a second in there that keeps you from Following up with your swing, but you're still allowed to shoot if you want to so that's actually kind of good where you can go Yeah, they did a good job fixing it It definitely is doing what I think players are going to want and what will be intended if anything It's gonna feel a little chunky if you try to do it You're actually further ahead to not try that at all because there's actually a big delay when you Try to follow up so if I can get here and I can aim that's no big deal But if I go and I do this and I try to attack there's actually a little bit of a pause there, so I think this is exactly what players wanted, which is good. And then we'll try the heavy attack side of it. And then same thing on the heavy attacks. It doesn't work on heavy attacks. Perfect. But now one I'm really curious about is the dodge canceling here. So if I go ahead and do this and then dodge and then... Ooh, okay, so you can still dodge. There we go. You can still go ahead and dodge an attack. Which again, it seems what that's what players wanted based off of reading the comments that we had on a previous video here. So that'll still be intact, which to me means that Kelly's stock goes way up. Because she is a... Hunter that is good with melee, and since she's a hunter, she's still really good at dodging. Not to mention part of her kit is that she has infinite dodging when she uses her Q ability. So I think this makes Kelly's stock go way up because she's going to be able to take big advantage of stuff like this. Now, here's one that I'm really interested in because I'm not so sure that people's opinions are really fully fleshed out on this one. So with Henrietta here, you can puke, but you can dodge out of it. Oh, and you can still do that. Now, is this one okay by the community? I don't know, because there is a big cooldown on the puke skill. I think that there's a 20 second cooldown that does mean that there is a cost to what you're doing. But what that does allow you to do is get out of the puke much more quickly, dodge in and start attacking. So curious to see what people think about that one. So now I'm gonna test the lightning attack here and I really hope that this one's fixed because this is definitely the one that people feel is the most egregious. So here's a baseline of what the lightning attack looks like. That's about how long it takes, okay? Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and try to heal here with Annie. She's a little low. And I'm really hoping they got this one fixed. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's fixed! Yeah, you can't do anything. Perfect. Yeah, I wasn't sitting there mashing here. I'll even show it to you. You'll be able to see me try to attack and it doesn't work. So here, I'll show you again. I'm just going to start mashing my button. We'll see if it goes. Nothing. Well, there you go. Oh, and then you can follow up with an attack after that. So it's not super chunky and hard to use. Well, good, 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 good. So there's one of these that I'm really curious about, and I'm not really sure what people think about this on an animation front, but I do think what we're going to start seeing, assuming that this works out as it was before, is what I'd call F canceling. And let's go ahead and try to find a unit, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's see what this looks like here. Yep, okay. So this is one that I'm a little curious about. I just went ahead and died. Now, what you saw there is I was able to go ahead and just pop right out of that and go straight into my finisher animation. And with the really big deal behind that is while you're in a finisher you're immune to damage so <sighs> here's where i'm at with this kind of thing it's in the game and i think it's fine because i'm going to play the game really no matter what's in it because i'm having fun with it but i'm curious to see what people think about that kind of thing as well because it is another way where you are just subverting an animation just to go ahead and benefit yourself and i think really that's going to be what people start doing they're going to carry a big stumble weapon go a smack and go straight into an f and something to know about these balance bars, at least from what I'm noticing, is the more you go ahead and use them, or deplete them, I should say, the less resistance the balance bar has. It's like, let's say there's 100 HP on the balance bar. Well, the next time it's like 50, and the time after that it's like 25 is what it feels like. The balance bars keep getting weaker. So what people are doing during their blue objectives is they'll get a big smack in, do an F, smack again, do an F, smack again, do an F. And they're chaining these really long instances of invincibility which makes them really hard to hit as uh when you're trying to hit them as the demon 
But you'll see I'm going straight into taking these units out just after one swing and then pressing F really quickly. Or I think it's like R3 on a PlayStation controller. And again, my opinion on this is that it's part of the game. If they're going to change stuff, then when they change it, we'll adjust, we'll adjust to that. If they don't change it, then it's in the game and we adjust it to it being in the game. I, frankly, am indifferent either way. The game is the way it is, and you play it for what it is, and if they continue to change stuff, then you just continue to adapt. So really, the feeling I'm getting out of this patch notes here is that survivors definitely took a bit of a hit, mainly because Cheryl took a big nerf, and then support Ash took a big nerf. Um, the fixes for the puppeteer, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me anyway, and I don't think it's going to affect things that much unless you were really using it as a crutch. Frankly, the way that demons are really dominating and winning games had nothing to do with animation canceling. It was all about being able to find survivors quickly. And there's, I have a whole video about how to spawn theory where the survivors are going to be. That's the stuff that's absolutely demolishing survivors right now is being high level and then also knowing where they are right away. But either way, I'm glad it's out of the game because I think it was something that was just making people upset. It's one of those things that once you became aware of it, it was hard not to notice it. And then for some people, they're like, yeah, whatever, I'll just play against it. And other folks, it made them really, really mad. So now those folks that were really upset about it, they don't have to be upset about it anymore, which I think is good for the game. Let me know what you guys think of these patch notes. If there's anything that you want to see them fix or anything that you think should be adjusted or anything you think they missed, this is the first patch. There's definitely going to be a lot more work on this game. So just be patient with them. I think them getting this patch out within two weeks for all platforms pretty good timing especially with some issues that were really bothering some people in the community so i think they did a good job with that i think they should be commended for that and i think they're going to keep working on the game and keep fixing it up we stream just about every single night twitch.tv slash swing point if you want to talk about this patch talk to me about the game the link will be in the description and also the top comment and if you want to get more updates on the game please consider subscribing down below so thank you guys you're the best and i'll see you in the next video that we do around here